Hey ladies and gents, it's been a little bit of a while, but we decided that we wanted to share something with you guys because these have been sitting here for a few weeks. It's Denon's brand new Denon home products. This video is not sponsored. Denon basically just sent them through for review, but I wanted to have a look at them and unbox them before I actually got stuck into a review because if you guys know with audio gear, I really like to actually listen to it and see if it's any good. Basically, they're a set of wireless speakers. This is their whole product range right from the entry level or the lower end to mid tier to top tier. So prices vary. I'm not sure of them from the top of my head at the moment. So let's unbox them and see what they're all about. And then a review will come in a few weeks when we actually get to using them. But what do you reckon, Claire? Should we start with the little guy first? Yeah. Little small, small to big. I might uh, stand up or sit down. Maybe I'll sit down. Should I sit down? Yeah. I don't know, but before we do that, roll the intro. All right, let's start off with the Denon Home 150. This is a similar size to, let's say, a HomePod or one of the, I don't want to say the A word, but you know what I'm trying to talk about. One of those, the Echoes. But yeah, let's get this out of the box and see what comes included. There's a quick start guide, pretty um, standard stuff here. It's just a bunch of documentation. I suspect there's not actually going to be heaps with these, it's just gonna be a guide, a power cable, and the unit itself. But let's find out, All right? We'll pull it out. It's in a bit of a plastic or whatever. Let's unsheath it and have a look. Hey, that's a nice size. It's about the size, it's a little bit bigger than I would say a Google Home, a little bit bigger. First of all, it's got some ethernet, which is pretty nice. It's got USB and a Bluetooth sync as well. And it also has something that I was not expecting. It's got a tripod mounting hole here if you were to wall mount these because, yeah, I actually don't know a lot about these yet, which is why we're reviewing them in the first place. But this looks quite interesting. Now, it does have things like working with, I mean, just off the box, Spotify, iHeartRadio, SoundCloud, basically every audio service. And it also works with the A word and with Google Assistant as well. So it's looking to be pretty interesting. Obviously supports AirPlay and HEOS, which is uh, an application to actually integrate everything and set them all up. But we'll have a look at that when we do the review. So what do you reckon so far, Claire? What do you think? It's pretty interesting, right? Yeah. It's a it's quite, it's quite uh, a decent size. If I put my hand up to it for comparison, you can see the size of it. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> I've got a averagely sized hand, but the ethernet is what I'm interested in because I'm wanting to know if you can do PoE to power it, which is, I'm suspecting it actually might be able to do that. But yeah, that's the 150. Let's take a look at the 250 next because that's going to be Probably the one that most people who are looking for an audio solution for home will most likely look at if they don't already have one. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> one thing I forgot before we move on. There's just a regular figure eight power cable, right? Nothing too exciting and that's basically it. Let's move on. It is the Home 250. I haven't looked at these yet. Honestly, like they're still sealed, which is why I've got the knife of death. It is the worst blade ever. I'm scared of it, actually. <laughs> okay, we all cut, we're all good. Okay, this one is surprisingly light. It's got a warranty for Australian buyers. Obviously, again, we've got a quick start guide Pretty standard quick start guidey stuff. Obviously the feature set will be m like much the same as the 150, but the main difference here will be, it will be bigger, which I can already tell. Oh, that's a lot heavier than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, before we move on, we'll just power cable, just a regular old power cable, figure eight as per the other one. But there is something else in here, which is wall mounting gear. 
for the speakers itself, which is pretty interesting. Okay, let's unsheath the 250. I feel like, whoa, that looks really nice. Whoa, that looks really, really nice. That looks a uh, similar color to the charcoal colored Google Home stuff, which you can get like the little the Nest Minis come in a color like this. But this is very, very nice. So it's got the same connectivity on the back as the 150. You can see it's got ethernet, it's got a sync button, power, and auxiliary input as well. And much the same as the 150, the feature set will be basically the same, except it's bigger and probably louder. The 250, I like the color, looks really nice, and we will find out more about that. But actually, before I forget, obviously the 150 is in more of that um, Apple-y aesthetic, like that white finish, whereas the 250 that they sent us is actually in that more professional aesthetic, I would say. I like, I like that. What do you reckon of the color scheme, Claire? It looks really nice, right? Yeah. I like it, I dig it. Last, but definitely not least, the 350. This is the big one. Uh, let's, let's take it out. I'm excited about this one personally, because I think if all goes to plan, this will be one that we'll have permanently set up in our house. Uh, let us know what you guys reckon. If you want to see a review of all of them individually, or if you want us to do a combined review with all three, I'm leaning more towards doing them individually, uh, based, basically because they'll be at different price points, or we could do a comparison between all three based on those price points. But I'm gonna leave that up to you guys in the comments. And I'm again, I'm gonna apologize for our sporadic uploads. We've been busy with Gear Seekers, which is our main channel, which is all the stuff that you see next to us here. But yeah, we, we're, we're very busy these days, but we don't wanna like not give you guys content because we are still receiving stuff for Mainbyte, which is why, we, why we're here. Hey, this one's got like a shopping bag handle. Excuse my gut if it pops out. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> All right, let's see what's in the box first, right? First off, again, wall mounting kit and a figure eight power cable. Pretty standard from what we can see with these, although the small one didn't have a wall mounting kit and I don't understand why, but it doesn't really, doesn't really matter right now. Okay. Ooh. Amazon Music HD. That's what the, that's what it says on the top. I think they all say that, but <laughs> I'm making an absolute mess of it. But this, very, very nice. That's very densely packed. Okay. Again, if we flip it around, <laughs> it has those connections on the back as well. So ethernet, auxiliary, also with the USB input and the Bluetooth sync button as well. These are looking like a very interesting set of speakers. I, the, the US pricing, they're not cheap because they are a premium product. From memory, don't quote me, I think this one is between six to 700 US dollars. It's in that Sonos range of performance and quality. The build quality from what I can see is pretty exceptional. The, the fabric is really, really nice. I, I really, really like this charcoal color. Not a massive fan of the white ones. Uh, that might be your aesthetic, but my aesthetic and Claire's aesthetic is we really, really like stuff that looks like this. And it kind of blends in with our home already and it's looking to be interesting. But you know what I might do while we're here, Claire? Because I have power right here. Let's plug one in. Let's plug, which one do you reckon we should plug in? The big one? Middle. The middle one, the little one. You get to decide. Middle. You want me, oh, okay, I'll plug in the middle one. Okay, let's plug in the little one. Ooh, okay. I see what it did there. 
It's got uh, con touch controls on the top. I think it's just booting up. We'll just let it boot up quickly. I think what we need to do is use the HEOS app. I'll just quickly download it. Be give us a moment, all right? We'll just quickly get this installed and see how easy it is to set up. My phone's complete dark mode, so it might not be easy to film. <laughs> but yeah, let's quickly install that app and we'll see what the deal is. See what the dealio is, huh? Okay. Um, it's just doing the Xiaomi thing where it's like, hey, I'm scanning to see if this app is all good. <laughs> Allow searching for your devices. Let's see if it picks up the little guy. Still searching, please wait. Almost done searching. <laughs> it's giving us a lot of updates. Let's go set up now, plug in the device. Uh, okay, cool, it's plugged in, next. It's asking me what brand, let's say Denon. It's a speaker. It's the Home 150 and then this will connect your Denon to your wireless network. Cool. Continue. Allow. Is it flashing amber? That's Is this, it's solid amber. Okay, that's amber. And then you click connect on the back. Press, that's a nice little clicky sound. Press, it's supposed to flash green. Okay, click next. And now it's searching for devices. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's found it. Okay, cool. Uh, once our Wi-Fi password, 69, 420. 69, I think that's our, yeah, 69, 69, 420, blaze it. That's our password, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I typed in the wrong password as I was like, it's doing a thing, I think. Oh, where is it? He wants to know where it is. It's in the garden. <laughs> okay. Uh, basically what it's doing is it's coming up as a device in Spotify. I don't know, can you see my phone? So it comes up in Spotify as a device. You can see like our other devices on our network. Garden, I don't wanna, if I press play, it's gonna copyright strike us. All right, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed this pretty terrible <laughs> unboxing and this just quick first look at these three Denon speakers, but we will be reviewing all of them properly in our regular main bite fashion. I'm very, very excited about the big one because I have really high hopes for it. Let's hope that it sounds good. And also I just wanted to mention, uh, thank you guys so much for subscribing and I'm sorry that we haven't uploaded very often. Also just an update with the Aeris 3.5 video. You guys have been absolutely smashing the comments and viewing the absolute living heck out of that video. Those speakers ended up dying a few days after we made that video, which is rather unfortunate, but I did replace them with some Genelec 8 8010As, which sound absolutely ridiculous, but they cost the earth and more to buy, and I will be reviewing those very, very soon as well. And it seems as though we're doing a lot of audio products for this channel. What do you reckon? Is that like the way we should go? or no. I like everything mm -hmm. really. We do have some more stuff to cover. We've got some projectors that we need to take a look at and we've got some other smart home devices too, but I really, really wanted to share these with you because they've been kind of like burning my brain. Like I really, really just wanted to get them out of the box and play with them, but we've had zero time. And today is the first time in about two months that we're actually so far ahead of our gear seeker schedule that we can actually start to make these videos. So in the next few days, uh, expect a couple more uploads, but I'll probably upload one a week just to make it consistent, but I might film like a whole stack of them in one go. But cool, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and uh, it's good to be back on this channel. But as usual, that's the main bite. Thanks for watching. <laughs>